It looks like a thousand other seaside towns, but Virginia Beach has a unique claim to fame as the home of the elite special forces who killed America's most wanted. They are US Navy SEALs, the equivalent of Britain's special boat service, seen here on night exercises, and again rehearsing a helicopter drop. This was how they entered Osama bin Laden's compound. The very best are selected for what's known as SEAL Team 6. The Pentagon does not discuss its missions, but Team 6 is understood to live and train here on the outskirts of town. Well, the home base of SEAL Team 6 is just the other side of those trees across the lake. Everything they do is highly secretive and highly classified, whether it's Iraq, Afghanistan or Osama bin Laden. But what we do know is that this is a unique fighting force, an elite within the elite. These operations come up. Don Shipley served as a SEAL for 20 years. He says today's generation were uniquely qualified to face bin Laden and to improvise when they lost a helicopter. We what if things to death. Uh, what if this happens? I guarantee one of the what ifs that they went through on that briefing is what if we lose a helicopter? Uh, and they just rolled with it. They had another plan. And that's the way SEAL ops are. It's either zero or hero. And hero it is. These images of the blood-stained compound where bin Laden hid are already part of SEAL legend. A legend being toasted at this Virginia Beach hotspot. Phenomenal. It's, uh, it's awesome. Very proud of our boys. But other customers were conflicted about what bin Laden's death would bring. He's just more like a figurehead, and uh, we, need to, we need to still stay on our toes, I think even more now than before. It's the end of the Bin Laden era, I would say. I'm sure there's more, I'm sure there's something else to come, but we can stamp that chapter of our lives closed. It's over. Love of country is in the DNA here, but pride in their seals is discreet, and they know the fight is not over. Steve Kingston, BBC News, Virginia Beach.